Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekend reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Scorpio Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So the energy of the weekend for you, Scorpio, is the Knight of Cups. Very nice. So you may be falling in love, being very gentleman-like with someone, or lady-like, or someone is being this way with you. Um, someone's trying to get you to fall in love, um, or, or at least to like them. Uh, maybe even uh, asking you out on a date, proposing something to you. It could be a proposal of marriage. Um... Be careful with this energy because with the Knight of Cups, this person is in love with being in love. They love it. They love the newness of love, okay? Um, this person is going out of their way to convince the other person. Uh, this person also goes out of their way to find true love, okay? Um, therefore, they have sometimes unrealistic expectations in love or they have very high standards because they've done so much to acquire or to um get a specific person so this person can go from wooing you uh persuading you being in love with you to you know the person who leaves a string of broken hearts because they have unrealistic expectations with love and at just at the whim of a flaw or a disagreement or something that they don't like they're out they're out of the game they're no longer in love it, it can be turned off just as quickly as it was turned on so make sure that you're not in that energy Scorpio and that you're not dealing with someone who's in that energy at least try to ground it you know ground that, that those um, raw emotions because you know sometimes people just they're in love with being in love it feels good and then when it doesn't feel any good anymore, they, they just want out, you know. Um, what you're not aware of this week is the Nine of Cups. Ooh, very nice. You have a lot of love coming in. Um, good fun. Uh, well, fun, good food, drink, uh, just luxury, uh, maybe even good sex here with the Nine of Cups. Um, just a pleasurable connection uh, between you and someone else um there's likeness uh it's really good you have a really good weekend um this is someone that you maybe even hope wished pray for um they check all of your boxes um let's see what will help you this week this weekend the magician okay so what will help you is um how you communicate Okay, how you how you are bringing about your manifestation. Um, the magician says, "Powerful man." So it's masculine energy. It's a man. Um, what will help you is how you use your words, how you formulate sentences. What do they mean? How you put it all together. How will you manifest? this dream come true what will help you is being the magician being meticulous having the idea and then uh, trying to formulate it into reality um, what will help you is once again groundedness is coming up for you Scorpio um, what will help you is grounding the energy because the magician has the idea the divine spark in the mental and now you have to bring that into the 3D. So you may have all of these ideas, um, some grandiose, some just ideas, but how do you bring that into reality? Once again, the word groundedness and reality, because with the Knight of Cups, he's at times, sometimes uh, he is or she is unrealistic. So reality, realism, uh, groundedness so though you're feeling all of these emotions for a particular person um, make sure that you ground this energy make sure that 
you have a plan, a course of action. It's just not you being react, you know, kind of reacting to um, your feelings or your emotions, but you're actually having a course. You're taking a course here. You have an agenda set. Um, if you do want something, no strings attached. Um, if you just want to be in something that is carefree, uh, make sure that you are articulating that very well. The magician is, he rules language, words, okay? So make sure you are artic articulating that very well. Um, make sure that in most things you're taking a calculated risk also. Do know that relationships are a risk. There's no guarantee. Every time you decide this is your boyfriend, this is your girlfriend, or whatever, it is a risk. Okay, you're the risk, they're the risk, it's, all of it is a risk. These are people you're dealing with, not robots, not machines, no guarantees. Alright, so this is your reading this week, Scorpio. Looks like a really good weekend for you. Weekend, not week, weekend. Um, if you want to ask a question by via the Tarot, you can text it to the number below. You can also go over to the website and book a reading there. You can donate to the channel if you have, um, if you are feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. You can also get in on the New Moon Manifestation and come manifest corporately with like-minded individuals. All links are below. Uh, thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you.